Hello, this is Dana and welcome to my channel, The Orchid Hut. Today's video is going to be an unboxing video. So if you read my community post a couple of days ago, I um, mentioned how taking care of so many new orchids indoors over the winter was a bit of a challenge. So at the beginning of the year, uh, sadly, but necessarily, I decided to really focus in on some orchid buying goals this year so that I didn't just randomly continue to purchase orchids, um, you know, without really understanding why I wanted to add them to my collection. So I identified three purchasing goals for this year, and I'm really going to try to stick to it as I shop locally or buy online or go to shows and more on shows in just a minute but my three goals for this year were to add some yellow bloomers to my orchid collection i have a lot of white and pink and combinations of pink and white um, i have some blue and red but i don't have a lot of yellow in my collection so I decided I wanted to identify and find some yellow blooming orchids. And then um, I also really love uh, growing Tolumnia orchids. And so I will be keeping an eye out for how to add to my uh, Tolumnia orchid collection. And then thirdly, I want to keep an eye out for species orchids because I think um, they present maybe a little bit of an extra challenge to grow and bloom, but I do find them fascinating. So I'm going to be looking for species orchids this year as I, as I purchase, make my purchases. So if you'd like to take a guess um, what, which goal this particular purchase met, I have a feeling you'll be able to have it figured out by the end of the video. So I purchased three. And then I got, um, I think, some sort of a surprise grouping of orchids, maybe like two or three that were just a surprise and they weren't, you know, it wasn't particularly expensive to add that to my order. This shipment came from Jewel Orchids. I have purchased from them in the past. They will ship your entire orchid purchase, at least right now, for $10. It comes USPS Priority Mail which honestly I find faster than FedEx. So, you know, shipment is good, quick. Um, and for me, this is a great time to buy orchids online. I do not have to worry about cold damage and I do not have to worry about heat damage. So, you know, there's kind of a window here where the temperature and the environment is friendly for shipping orchids. Okay, so, I'm going to get rid of some of the newspaper packing that's on top of the box. And let me just show you how this looks on the inside. And then I'll put this on the floor and just kind of pick it out piece by piece and unwrap the orchids. But um, in here, there's just extra newspaper. There's a little bit of shredding, I think, once I actually unwrap each orchid. And I'm going to go ahead and put this box on the floor so it doesn't take up space. Okay, so that took just a little bit to get them all out of the box because there was packing tape holding them to the inside of the box as well as to each other. So um, let's go ahead and get started and see what these are. Okay. So this one is the only one that is wrapped in shredded newspaper. Uh, they were all very, very carefully packaged here. I've always had um, really good success with the quality of the plants that I've gotten from Jewel Orchids. And by the way, it's Jewel with two L's on the end. And sometimes it's a little bit difficult to Google them because you will get 
the jewel orchid, the Ludicia orchid instead of the actual company that's the nursery. So sometimes if you want to search for them, you can search for jewel orchids online or jewel orchids. They're based out of Georgia, a family run business, I believe. Let's see. Ooh. Okay, I'll show you the name in just a second. What a cool orchid. Okay, so this one is Dendrobium Royal Vista. And I will put a picture of the bloom on the screen to go along with the plant for each one of these. And let's have a look at it. It's planted in small bark and perlite. It has two sort of seedling bulbs here, and then one, two, three, four, five that were more mature canes. This one has already lost its leaves. You can tell by the time it got to this point in its growth, it was producing two leaves. And then this largest growth has three leaves. which was probably last year's growth and it looks like it looks like it may have even bloomed so this could be a blooming sized orchid and there's already a new growth started right here so um, probably for this one since it looks like it's been in this pot a while I may consider repotting it if I see roots starting to develop here um, gosh though what a great looking little orchid Dendrobium Royal Vista. Okay, let's have a look at the next one. Okay, so this one was wrapped in newspaper and then the shredded newspaper is on the inside. This is so much fun. If um, you have never actually purchased orchids online, I really encourage you to do so. It's like giving a gift to yourself and having a very, very messy unwrapping fun at the same time. Okay, this one is hmm, Brassolalia catlea Solar Flare Paradise. Okay, so this one in sphagnum moss, it's the tiniest bit damp. Um, Cattleya orchid, really healthy. Um, a newer growth right here that's not fully developed. Um, sort of a seedling pseudobulb right here. And then one, two, three, four, five, pseudobulbs all together. It's really loose in the pot. Okay, so in the bottom there are packing peanuts, but you can see the root system inside that sphagnum moss. Um, I will probably need to research this one a bit. I would typically not pot a Cattleya type orchid in pure sphagnum moss. There may be a reason in their environment or in their nursery why they did that, but I will have to look into this one a little bit because when it gets when it gets repotted, uh, it's not going to be completely in sphagnum moss. Still, great looking little orchid. Okay, let's see what's next.
I would suggest having a pair of scissors handy. I did not do that. Okay, while I'm unwrapping this one, speaking of orchid shows, there is one coming up locally for me in Houston on Saturday and Sunday at Memorial City Mall. And so I'm filming this video today on a Friday, so this one will post on Saturday. But then I will be uh, bringing back some footage, I hope, from the orchid show over the weekend. And the video after this one will be um, sort of like reporting back from the orchid show. I'm, I'm so looking forward to that. You know, many of the shows were canceled during the pandemic and, you know, there was just no place to go. Okay, oh, there's two in here. Surprise. All right, so this one is... Oh, interesting. Okay, so Catlea Horus crossed with Brassalalia Richard Miller. Intergeneric hybrid. This is certainly one of the ones that was the surprise orchid in the mystery package. But look though, I mean, such a healthy little orchid. New growth right here. Um, lots of really healthy pseudo bulbs already in such a tiny little pot. Cute, cute. Okay. Now, when I purchase orchids online, for the ones that I choose for myself, I always do a little bit of research to make sure that they're going to do well in one of my growing areas. So either really, really warm growing outside and I can bring it in during the coldest part of the winter or something that can be more of an intermediate grower indoors or something that has at least a tolerance for indoor growing temperatures or a tolerance for really hot summer temperatures. So, um, you know, you'll have better luck if you do a little bit of research up front what you're buying instead of just saying, oh, I really, really like that bloom, let me buy that orchid. Well, that can sometimes just lead to disappointment because, you know, that orchid just may not do well in one of your growing environments. Okay, this one is I think this is EPC. Golden Sunburst Exotic Orchids. Okay, this one will take some research. This is one of the ones, one of the surprise orchids that they picked for me. So I have no idea what this is, but so, so healthy. I mean, great root system, great leaves, little tiny new growth right there down at the base of the plant. Super, super orchid. So these will be um, isolated for just a bit, you know, maybe 10 days, 14 days. I will keep them separate from my other orchids just in case um, something sinister is lurking. You know, you don't want to introduce a problem to your own collection by bringing in uh, orchids from someplace else, but um, I've never truly had a problem with that, but it's a better safe than sorry situation. Okay. And last one. So I ordered three, and there might have been two or three in the surprise package, so let's see what's in here. Goodness, this is just like orchids galore. Let's see. There's two inside here. Okay, so let's see. This one is. <laughs> what a funny name. Catlea Dermaniana Fat Lip, crossed with Catlea Bicolor. 
something I can't pronounce. Another one that will take some research. Let's hold the name up first and then I'll show you the orchid. Okay, so let's see. Get the rest of the newspaper off. Excellent root system coming all up and out of the pot. Gorgeous leaves. It has the structure of a two-leafed cattleya. New growth happening right here. Really, really healthy little orchid. I am so anxious now to look these up and see what the blooms look like and I'll be doing that as I process this video. Okay, neighbor's yard work is st starting up so we have one more orchid to go hopefully before that noise gets too loud. Okay. Cattleya intermedia cerulea punctata big mama crossed with Lelia syncorana cerulea and then something that looks like a Hawaiian name. Wow. Anyone ever heard of that orchid? The names on a couple of these really make me chuckle. Okay, but again, great, great looking little orchid. I'm hoping I'm able to grow some of these in my bay window. You know, they're small and what a great little plant to grow in a windowsill. I really love some of my mini cattleyas, so. Awesome, awesome. Now, appears to be a little new growth coming right here. Okay, so that is my orchid haul. And what a haul it is. Look at all of these neat little plants to add to my collection. And I love the fact that they're small, I really do. Um, some of the larger ones, you know, are just a bit more challenging to find space for and to bring in in the winter. What a great little new orchid collection. I'm looking forward to learning a little bit more about some of these that I haven't already researched. And if you'd like to take a guess for which orchid goal I was purchasing for, you can leave a note in the comments. And thanks so much for watching. Um, next video after this one will be from the Orchid Show. Thanks for watching and talk to you next time.